welcome back or welcome back to me because I've kind of been on a hiatus um, I will talk about that in another video I just graduated and was really busy and kind of unmotivated but we will discuss further the trials and tribulations of graduating um, another time so for today's video I am so excited I want to talk about some of my favorite self-love journals that I have been using recently and I have three of them right here with me I can't wait to introduce you to them so let's just get into it this is kind of gonna be part review part just like me talking about how much I enjoy them I bought two of these myself and I got one of them in my Therabox that I get monthly. Technically it was within the cost of the Therabox but I didn't go out and like purchase it myself. But I am excited to talk about these because I have really got into journaling more recently like in the past couple of months and I feel like it gives me an opportunity to just reflect on my day and my time and write about things that I'm thankful for and kind of delve deeper into myself and things that are important to me and just reflect on who I want to be and who I am and how I've changed. So that's why I really enjoy journaling. So I'm going to start with the gift of self-love. So this is a book by Mary Jolkowski, also known as Mary's Cup of Tea on Instagram. And I'm a huge fan of Mary. I've talked about her before in other videos. She's one of my favorite creators. She also has a podcast and she talks a lot about self-love and her journey to self-love, her journey with an eating disorder. So she created this workbook. It came out in March, I believe. And I pre-ordered it because I was so excited to see what was inside of it. Obviously, the aesthetic of the book is gorgeous. I mean, this is Mary. And the colors, the design, it's just beautiful. I'm in love with it. So it's definitely one of those books that if you wanted to put it on your coffee table, it would it would look beautiful there. I also left her a review and at the time if you were leaving reviews she sent you a little sticker that she had signed. So I have this sticker signed by Mary. Because it was during COVID that she published her book, she wasn't able to go on like a book tour and sign the books in person. So she had this really cute idea of signing stickers and sending them out as a thank you note to people who left reviews for her book at the time. I don't think she's doing that anymore, but this is like my first ever signed book. I don't think I've ever gotten a signed book. Yeah, I don't think I have any signed books. So this one is really special to me and I'm a huge Mary fan, obviously. So Mary's bio says that she is an author, a speaker, a self-love advocate, the host of Mary's podcast, Mary's Cup of Tea podcast, and the obviously the creator of The Gift of Self-Love. So diving into this book, I loved the experience of this book. So this is a workbook. It both has the story of kind of Mary's journey as well as chapters based on like body image, self-love, like the chapters are we've got loving yourself, self-love formula, rewriting your beliefs, self-love and other people, loving your body, bringing it all together. So we have all these different areas where Mary kind of explains her experience within them and then also gives us some tips and information to teach ourselves how to, I don't know, kind of grow and become better. So I really enjoyed this. It's both reading and writing, so it's an interactive experience. As you read the book, there's prompts that are asking you to journal, which is why I'm including it in this. So I loved the interactivity of this book. I loved being able to write in it. I loved reading Mary's story, and I am really excited to see what she comes up with in the future because I really really enjoyed reading this and I would definitely read another workbook by her and I would also read just like an autobiography honestly like I'm so interested she has such an interesting story she's such a fun energetic and like interesting person and I would love to see more from her this book is really great I'm clearly a fan I think I could also go back as I grow and learn and change and 
kind of self-reflect on some of the prompts that I filled out and even get like a blank piece of paper and go off of the prompts that are in the book and kind of rewrite them as I, you know, I'm always growing and changing and life changes. So I think that would be really helpful as well. I love this book. I really think that it's for everybody and everybody. Even though she is talking about her experience specifically, she gives a lot of just like general information about how to love yourself, how to find comfort in just accepting who you are, and that's really for everybody. So whether you are in a straight-sized body or a plus-sized body, this book is great and I would encourage you to get it. So the next book I'm going to show you is just My Truth. That's just what it says on the front. So this is what I would characterize as a affirmation and gratitude journal. I really love how simple it is. Obviously the design is just, you know, very minimal, like a lot of the, you know, journals that we've seen recently. And what I love about this journal is that the design and the idea is very simple and that's really all you need when you're journaling. So this journal, My Truth Gratitude Journal, is by Sarah Salam. She seems to be just like a small business owner and like I said I received it in the My Therabox subscription that I was receiving monthly and this was actually one of my favorite journals that I received in Therabox. They had quite a few, but some of them were shorter or like really thin, so it was almost like something that you would do within a week. But this is like much thicker, it's got months and months of sections and things that you can do, and it's a daily journal. Each page looks like this, it's got three boxes, and the prompts are basically I am for affirmations grateful for, and then looking forward to. So the reason that I really enjoy this journal is because it really focuses on the positive parts of our lives. So it asks you to write down a few affirmations for yourself, who you wanna be, who you are, and you're claiming it right in this moment. And then the grateful for section is really great, obviously, for just writing down things each day that you, that make you happy, that make you thankful, and then obviously the last section is things that we're looking forward to in the future. So this is a great journal if you really want to focus on the positive in your life. Maybe if you've been struggling and having a harder time, this kind of helps you refocus on things that you enjoy, that make you happy, and that was part of what really drew me to this. This journal is sectioned out by month. So it starts with my a page called My Intention and you write down the month and the date and then you say what you're going to focus on and you write your intention and you write why it's your intention. And then after a month, the end is my reflection and you write about what your focus was and you reflect on how that intention came to be or how it changed or how you grew to focus on other things or how focusing on that specific thing like hope or health kind of changed your attitude during that month. So it's really fun, really cute, an easy notebook for people who just want the opportunity to journal about things that they're thankful for. I think discussing gratitude and what you're thankful for on a daily basis really shifts your perspective into like, wow, I have so many things that I can thank myself for in this life. Even if you're having a really down day, you know, you can be thankful for your body, you can be thankful for your dog, you can be thankful for the sunshine, you can be thankful for the rain and the way that it waters the flowers and helps them grow. Like, there's really so many ways that you can find your gratitude for life and that really opens your eyes to be like, even if you had a really terrible day and it sucked and it was painful, which like we've all been there and it can be really hard. And there are some of us who are having really difficult experiences every single day and this is not to discredit those experiences, but to hopefully give people an opportunity to say, hey, had a really hard day or I'm having a really hard month or I'm having a really hard year and this is to, to say to myself, okay, what can I be thankful for in this moment even if this year has been really hard? Because we got I got this during COVID, that's when this came out. So it was a really good opportunity to say, what can I be thankful for in this time that is so difficult and is so painful for so many? The next journal that I'm going to talk about is the Self Love Journal by Charlotte Emily Price. So as you can see, I'll show you a close up. It says Becca's Self Love Journal on it. 
it's got this gorgeous line drawing and you actually get to customize this journal. So the great thing about this journal is that it's customizable. You can go onto the website, which I have linked below, and you can choose which image you want. I think there are three or four options. You choose, obviously you can write your name. I wrote Becca, I could have written Rebecca. You could use your nickname, whatever you want. And then it just says, you know, XYZ's self-love journal. It has the image and it's really beautiful. This is the six month version, so it's pretty hefty, pretty thick, very high quality. There's also a three month version if you want to try it out for a shorter period of time. And I just was so shocked when I got this in the mail because it's literally gorgeous. It really feels great. I love the aesthetic of it. This one is almost like a minimalist aesthetic. You've got the beautiful line drawings. There are line drawings inside of the journal as well that are beautiful. Um, once again, it says Becca's self-love journal in it. It's got these quotes in it that are really nice. So Charlotte Emily Price is a London-based YouTuber slash creator. Um, she talks a lot about body acceptance, body image, her experience with body image, just lifestyle content as well, and then a lot of like fashion and outfit inspo, which I really enjoy. But she created this self-love journal because so much of her content does surround self-love and body image and accepting yourself as you are and body neutrality. So I really was so excited when I saw that she was coming out with this and I knew the minute that I saw it that I was going to grab one. So she actually worked with HP to create these journals. So this is more of like a true what I would call a diary style where it's like you are writing almost like a shorter entry each day and it's kind of designed to be to take no more than 10 minutes. You open it up to the page that you're on put in the date, select how you're feeling, and then follow the prompt. And it's really a quick thing that you can do on a daily basis. It doesn't take up a lot of time. Whereas like Mary's workbook is more deep diving and can be a little bit more intense and can take a little bit more effort and a little bit more time. This self-love journal is really easy to do on a daily basis and that's what I love about it. So the beginning actually features about 10 pages of information about anxiety, body image and acceptance, boundaries, insecurities, cyberbullying, affirmations, self-doubt. So it's a lot of information that you can read about and it kind of gives you the opportunity to dig a little deeper into those topics. So it's nice that there's these short sections in the beginning that you can read through. So then you start with day one and it goes through two week periods. So the prompts are different for 14 days and then it has a section break and then it starts again and it recycles the same prompts. But what I like about this is that you're, you always kind of know what you're getting and what you're going to talk about because of the fact that it recycles the prompts and you can kind of see your growth as time goes on you know maybe you started out and you were writing about one thing and then a few weeks later you check in and you're writing about something completely different and I love that you get this opportunity to reflect on how you've changed over time over the course of three months or six months I think that's really special there are small sections after each 14 days where you can take notes and add like little bits of information. It's just like an empty lined page. You can doodle, you can draw, you can write, whatever you want. It's up to you. Like I said, the reason that I love this self-love journal is because I really feel like it's for the person who might not think that they have time to journal every day. Like sometimes when you open an empty journal, it's daunting. You're like, I don't know what I'm going to write about. I don't have time to do this. I'm not going to spend my day doing this when I have other things to do. And that's the great thing about this is that it takes no more than 10 minutes. So you can really integrate it into your daily life. And it's something that prioritizes your mental health. It gives you the opportunity to check in, but it doesn't take hours and hours of journaling or self-reflection. Charlotte is a huge inspiration to me and I really love this. She did an amazing job. So this is gorgeous. So those are the journals that I've really been enjoying the past couple of months. 
I am not going to tell you that you have to go out and buy them, but I just wanted to let you know what I've been enjoying, how they've been making me feel. Sometimes I do one of them. I've actually finished The Gift of Self Love. I wanted to wait until I read the entire thing before I did a video on it because I thought that that was only fair. But the other two I'm still working my way through. Sometimes I do one, sometimes I do both. Sometimes one month I do one and one month I do the other. It's really dependent upon how much time I have and like how much I want to reflect, how much I feel like it. Thank you for joining me in today's video. If you are interested in any of these workbooks or journals, I have linked everything down below. I have put all three creators' Instagram handles and if they have a website, also the website down below so you can check them out. If you liked this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, all those YouTube-y things, and I will see you in the next one.